We all have times in our lives when we look back and wish we'd been more aware of the significance of what was going on around us. I really can't remember who I voted for in 1980, but as it turns out, I was glad that Ronald Reagan was the 40th President of the United States, because it kept me employed in the aerospace industry until 1994. I got the chance to work on a harebrained scheme that eventually put the Russians out of business in the Cold War. It was called the Strategic Defense Initiative. Whether it would have worked, or that we would have been able to get it to work, will remain a mystery. But I got to watch some of the most talented people I've ever met do their part to make it a reality. This is their story. It all started for me back in 1989. That was the first year that Ball Aerospace sent me out to cover sounding rocket launches at the Wallops Island, Virginia flight facility at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. The project codename was Delta Star. The program was in its early infancy, so things were kind of fast and loose. For example, even though my assistant and I were being sent out to document the project, neither of us had a clearance yet. So we didn't find out what this particular launch was about until much later. But hey, we were in the field videotaping stuff that an aerospace video production person dreams of shooting. As it turned out, Delta Star was an SDIO space experiment. The whole idea behind President Reagan's impenetrable shield was to be able to shoot down enemy missiles before they could re-enter the atmosphere. To do that, you needed to be able to find them in space. So a whole suite of space-borne instruments needed to be devised to make that happen. Ball Aerospace's first mission was to launch a Black Branch sounding rocket to release a cloud of hydrazine to see if the sensors on the already orbiting Delta Star satellite could find it. Weather became the first issue. Wallops and the neighboring Shinkatig Island had been hit with torrential rains and wind before we arrived and while we were there. With the weather once again is being very important. Uh, I figure we have about 20 hours worth of work to do on the pad before we launch the Black Brand 10. And I'm not real sure we can get that done in the required time uh, based on the forecast. But, as in some kind of victorious movie, it became partly cloudy and the work proceeded with an urgent pace. Then, it was the day of the launch.
Western Animal Pat Tuman of Test Rockets. I honestly didn't find out if the mission was a success until just this year when I started doing research for this video. I am happy to report that it was indeed a resounding success. If you don't believe me, look it up. It's out there on the internet.